terrible indictment of the fact that they don't have an argument against three strikes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I am the proud member for Ikaro Rafati. I'm also the very proud minister of this coalition government. And, minister, uh, and Mr. Speaker, I want to pick off by, uh, start off my contribution by the closing remarks of the Minister of Finance, which is, this is the government getting on to do the mahi. We're getting on and doing the mahi, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I want to just first of all acknowledge that in my lecture of the East Coast, as a result of the floods uh, in the recent Queen's birthday uh, weekend that's just passed, Mr. Speaker, and can I just say, in August of 2016, again in another part of my electorate, we had a gastro outbreak in Havelock North, where 5,000 people were hospitalised and a couple of people lost their lives. A very, very serious incursion with the people in Havelock North. It took the government of the day, Mr Speaker, 10 days to come into the House to acknowledge we had a gastro outbreak. And the only 10 days, and the only way that they did that, Mr Speaker, is that our side of the House caused an urgent debate. We caught an urgent debate, and then the minister was forced to get up on his feet and explain the gastro outbreak. But on the East Coast, Mr Speaker, the East Coast that I represent and I'm proud of, within two days of the flood, Mr Speaker, not only myself, but officials from MPI and GDC, Gisborne District Council, were in the air, Mr Speaker. Two days we were in the, day, in the air to make sure that we were scanning the outbreak of the floods. And I can say, Mr Speaker, that the, uh, although the flooding was quite localised in Tolliga Bay, the devastation that people saw on your televisions, on social media, was devastating for communities and those families that lost their homes and farmers that are still recovering from those floods. So, Mr Speaker, I want to make sure that this House uh, acknowledges the response in which this side of the House responded to those floods. And I do want to acknowledge both my colleagues, Minister for Civil uh, Defence and Emergency, the Minister Chris Farfoy, for his attendance up in Tolliga Bay over the weekend, where he got to meet firsthand and hear from those that are actively on the ground, Mr Speaker, because this government is about action. This government is empathetic to the causes that small communities like Tolliga Bay and Whangara experience as a result of not just one flood, Mr Speaker, but two floods. I want to acknowledge all the farmers that are doing it hard. I want to acknowledge my colleague, Minister O'Connor, who within seven days called a medium-scale event. Why is that important, Mr Speaker? Because in that sense, the message to the people of Whangara and Tolliga Bay that the government is caring about what's happening to them, that we are unlocking the services and support of the government agencies, be them M MSD, be them MPI, around supporting communities and families. So, Mr Speaker, it is important that I stand and acknowledge the devastation that's happened and still continues to happen to those uh, communities of Whangara and Tolaga Bay. But, Mr Speaker, the other issue is around this government being empathetic, not only of communities like the two I've mentioned, but actually of all whānau and families within New Zealand. Because within our first 100 days, Mr Speaker, we put families first. We put families first with our families package, yeah. Mr Speaker, which would see incomes boosted for 384,000 whānau. So we talk about not doing anything of action. That's what we've done. We also passed the extension of paid parental leave to, leave to 26 weeks. We increased the minimum wage to $16.50 by the 1st of April. We announced changes to strengthening workers' rights, and we announced legislation to set child poverty targets. So let's not kid ourselves in this House that this side of the House is about action, Mr Speaker. We're empathetic government, but we're also bound by strong principled economic management commitments through our fiscal responsibility wow. codes. Because we want to make sure that when we leave office, which may be three, four, five terms away, 18 terms away, that we want to leave the books in a lot better place than what we inherited, Mr Speaker. And so economic uh, fiscal responsibility is a commitment on this side. Mr Speaker, in the short time that I'm standing, engaging with industry is important. Uh, last week at the field days, I announced scholarships for forestry uh, degrees targeting Māori and women. We want more women in Māori in the forestry industry, so last week we announced that.
I announced science scholarships, Mr Speaker, because we need more primary industry scholars in science. And I also announced the Good Employer Awards. If we are going to recognise good employment uh, in the regions, then we need to start giving that opportunity to celebrate. Kia ora tātou. The Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker